today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. Alright, well today we are at the Goodwill and we are here with Dagny. Hello. We're gonna <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're gonna head in and see what we can find that we can buy and for a profit. Here we go. We found these two candlestick holders. I believe they were made in India. They kind of resembled holly to me and I thought that they would be good Christmas pieces. And so I grabbed the pair of them and I stuck them there in my cart. This looked to be Yankee Candle, and when I looked at the bottom, sure enough, it said Yankee 2012. And it looked to be in good condition. I didn't see much damage there. Um, the only thing I saw was a little discoloration on the snowman's belly, but I figured that could be remedied. It was probably caused by the candle being lit. It might be some soot from the candle. Here we have a candle. And then I found a shoe, and it was from Germany. Um, surprisingly, there was no damage to it because a lot of the times I find these and they are also damaged, uh, but this one appeared to be in good condition, and these make great planters. So for $3.99, I put it in my cart, and then I started rearranging and taking everything out of the child seat. There's another one. Look, it's a pair of German shoes, another one for $3.99. So I figured a pair is better than one with shoes. This was great. <laughs> this was an ornament, but it was a Dalmatian head. I believe that it is carved from wood. It felt like wood and um, there were no signatures on it, which really surprised me. This was a nice little art pottery piece. It was $1.99. I believe there was a signature on the bottom, but I really liked the color. It was almost a celadon glaze, and it had those little denim blue dots on it. I thought the glaze on this bowl was nice. It had kind of a drip glaze. And then up here, I noticed this vase, and I turned it over because I didn't know if it was Damascus pottery. I believe that's one of the pieces we picked up when we were in Ohio that turned out to be worth quite a bit of money. Uh, this one, however, is, um, I believe, from Dalton, Pennsylvania, and I've picked that up from time to time. I missed this the first time I went down the aisle. Um, this was the first aisle that we went down and I didn't even see it, but you can see the Lucite handles on this. It's got a nice design. I thought it would be a great vanity piece, so I stuck this in my cart. Even though it was a little large to ship, I made an exception for this one for $2.99. I usually pick up these little trinket boxes when I find them, regardless of whether they're made in China or Ruccini. Uh, the, the made in China versions, I can usually sell between 15 and $25. And this was a great Christmas piece. A lot of people like to gift them with jewelry inside. And then we came across a Basset Hound Christmas ornament. It was Santa cast, it was still in the box. And I thought it was a great piece for $1.99. I figured I could either donate it to the Basset Hound Rescue or I could sell it and donate the proceeds to the Basset Hound Rescue. Found a melamine set here. Um, we've obviously got two plates and two bowls and I really loved the graphics on them. I thought they had great graphics. That's really the only reason I bought them because normally I would pass them by, but um, the family of bears there and the hedgehog and everyone so happy and cheerful, I thought, this is, this is great. This is good content right here. I wasn't sure exactly what this thing was. Um, Dagny convinced me that it probably had something to do with photography because it was an exposure meter or something like that. Well, we, have concluded our trip here at the Goodwill today. Our total spend was $65. I feel like we got a lot of things. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff. Um, I think so. a few of my favorite pieces were probably um, the little Christmas trinket box, the music box, which I'm gonna have to 
uh, putts with a little bit um, to see if I can't get it to elevate and spin because it does play music. It wasn't overwound, um, but I'll, I'll mess with that a little bit and see if we can get it fixed. Um, but we got some good stuff today. The tables are going to go in our booth and they were only 10 bucks, so we'll make a profit there. We're going to get out of here now. I'm going to hit the road home and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, so make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.